hello friends welcome to the vlsa design course so in previous lectures we have covered uh, um, various modeling styles are used in the vsdl like uh, data flow modeling behavioral modeling and the structural modeling so now onwards we will concentrate on the concurrent statements used in the vsdl to fulfill this modeling styles we need a concurrent statement as well as the sequential statements so let us focus on the concurrent statements so what is a concurrent statement <coughs> a concurrent statement in an architecture are executed simultaneously and this is, this is a very important statements used in the vsdl and they play a very important role in any vlsi design project and that is the one of the advantage of vsdl that all the execution or most of the execution is happening in a parallel way and that is one of the advantage than the other languages like c c++ where execution of statements happen at the sequential way but in vsdl execution happens in a parallel way that's what the concurrent statements are executed simultaneously so concurrent statements are used to express a parallel activity as in the case with an with any digital circuit so in a hardware platform or in a hardware uh, design we have to implement or the algorithms ha uh, execution happens in a parallel way and most in most of the cases the processing has to be done at the parallel parallel way so concurrent statements are executed with no predefined order by the simulator let us say in architecture there are uh, five concurrent statements we have written because they are executed in a parallel way so there is no predefined order in a simulation so definitely in a simulation with some some delay one and one and the other are executed but there is no predefined order in a simulator so the order in which the code is written does not have any effect on its function so because of concurrency whatever the statements we have written you, uh, some code if you are written in a, uh, initially and uh, its its dependency is on later code it doesn't affect if it is written in a parallel fashion they can be used for behavioral structural and data flow modeling that's what concurrent statements are used for all these modeling styles so which are the concurrent statements so very important first concurrent statement is a process so process is a concurrent statement in which the statements are executed sequentially we have a separate uh, video on this process statement so we will we'll, there we will cover all the uh, major roles and functionalities of the uh, process statement so just to understand process itself is a concurrent statement but inside the process statements are executed sequentially all process in an architecture are executed simultaneously if we declare a multiple processes let us say process 1 for addition process 2 for uh, alu logic process 3 for uh, let us say for shift register process 4 for the counter so all these processes are executed simultaneously that's what process is a concurrent statements so concurrent statements are executed by the simulator when one of the signal in its sensitivity list changes so what is the meaning of sensitivity list sensitivity list is nothing but a, con a group of signals whenever these signals go on changing it will affect to change the output so process has its own sensitivity list but what about the concurrent statement or uh, we can say uh, signal assignment statement data flow modeling where we are assigning the predefined uh, uh, data types to a particular signal so in that case the signal which are declared as a input are become as a sensitivity list of that concurrent statement for example c here we are assigning c is equal to a or b so here a and b are nothing but the sensitivity list of that assignment that means whenever there is a change on signal c or b the statement will execute otherwise if it is not changing it will not execute similarly in a process statement after a process 
keyword there is a sensitivity list so here it is mentioned as a clock comma reset that means process is only executed only when there is a change on the clock what is the change change means the signal transfer from logic 0 to 1 1 to 0 or any vhdl we have any other nine uh, logical values so it may be don't care 0 to don't care or uh, weak high to weak low any 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 change so any change from one logic value to another logic value considered as a change so whenever that change happens it will execute the process statement so similarly signals are a concurrent way uh, uh, concurrent whereas variables are considered as a sequential object because variables we are using inside the process where only sequential statements are executed as well as they are used in the sub programs where only sequential statements are executed there is another one uh, reason behind uh, sequential and very uh, sorry uh, signal and variable because in variable assignment the values assignment is happen immediately and then after that variable is taken as for the further processing so immediate assignment happen in a variable object so like process we have another two uh, conditional and important uh, concurrent statement one is the when else and with select so this when else is comes under the conditional signal assignment so this type of assignments has a one target so in this when else statement or when else concurrent uh, statement it has only one target but multiple conditions we can give so there are multiple conditions we can express this statement assigns value based on the priority of the condition so depending on our expression priority it assigns the value and its syntax is signal name that is a target signal only one signal target then signal assignment expression one it is assigned to signal when the condition one is true so here between the when else this is the condition this is the condition one when it is true then and then this expression will one will be assigned to the target if it is a false then it will go and check the second condition if it is a false then it will assign a final value expression three, three to the target so this is a simple syntax of when else always re please remember there is no comma no semicolon at the end only the semicolon is mentioned there is another one concurrent statement is called a selective signal assignment previous one we have see is seen is a conditional so there is a condition then and then signal assignment or signal flow happen but here it is selective so uh, uh, the, the, there is a selection of our choices so let us start this statement is called as a with select and its syntax is with that expression that is expression means the number of choices where we are going to select the uh, we can say selection of the choices then select is again a keyword then only one target signal assignment expression one when choice one so here when choice one came when it is exactly matching choice one is nothing but the expression if expression is equal to choice one then expression one value is assigned to the target if it is a false now here comma is there comma is there then expression two will be assigned when choice two matches with the with expression select with that expression signal uh, signal all po possible choices must be enumerated when other choices take care of all the remaining alternate there is a there is a there is a last condition when others when all the above choices are not functioning or if it is not available then it will go come into the when others close then it will assign the last expression to the target there is one small mistake type of mistake choice n there should be a comma it, it is not a semicolon now this is all about the when else with select so in uh, next video lectures we are going to cover the complete examples of with select and when else and process will cover during our sequential statement execution now you we, we have we have in in previous lecture uh, we have understood this stru structural modeling and there we come across the component instantiation concept so that component instantiation concept today we are going to cover under this under this concurrent statement because component instantiation is also a concurrent execution all the component if you are uh, instantiating between the architecture and begin keyword they are all the concurrent execution okay so a component represent an entity architecture pair components allows hierarchical design of complex circuit a component instantiation statement defines a part lower in architecture of the design 
entity in which it appears. It associates pores of the component with the signal of fan of the entity. It assigns values to the generic of the component. So component instantiation is exactly the duplicate copy of entity. Instead of the keyword entity here, component instantiation is happen with the keyword component. Everything is exactly same. So let us see the component instantiation component whenever you are uh, doing a component instantiation there are two clause one is the component declaration one is the component uh, instantiation so we need to declare the component with the keyword component the component name is exactly should be the same of entity name the, that component if you want to use in our architecture then is everything same as entity generic list port list and end with the component keyword then for the instantiation we can give the label then that particular component name then its port map or a generic map now this we will understand in a better if you take one of the example so let us see component instantiation so component instantiation represent the pre-compiled entity architecture pair so what is mean by component instantiation instantiation component is already a pre-compiled program it is executed simulated synthesized and kept in a same directory kept in a same directory so we can repeatedly use the component so instantiation is selecting a compli complete specification in the library and linking it with the architecture where it will be used and what is port mapping port mapping is the assignment of the actual signals in a, in the system for the formal ports of the component declaration so port mapping is nothing but the actual signal connection between the component whatever the component we have used and any other signal where we wanted to use that components functionality in our actual program ports can be mapped by the name as well as the by position so we'll take example and we'll understand in better way so we'll take the same example of full adder using the two half adder design so let us say we have defined we have declared a component with a name half underscore adder is and its port are exactly same as the entity of the half adder so here we are calling that half adder component here but that half adder program already written somewhere it is executed simulated and kept in a same directory now we'll come into the positional association so this position association and named association happens inside the architecture happens inside the architecture okay so let us start in a position association so as as per the uh, uh, component instantiation syntax it start with the keyword label we can give the label yeah then then it, the, the then it start the keyword uh, component name it start with the keyword component name half header okay so this component we are calling then the port map is again a keyword port map again a keyword and now see this port half header has how many signals a and b are the input yes and yes and c are the output so what happened in a positional association this a signal this is the a signal of our external signal these are the not internal signal of half header that means this a i will show here okay here some mistake is the type of mistake here actually it should be a signal a1 and here it should be a b1 sorry it's a typo mistake so here the port this half adders a will connect to the a1 this is called the positional assignment half adders b internal b will connect to the b1 and is some output is connected to the s1 this s1 and carry out is connected to the internal signal c1 internal signal c1 then for the next half header we are giving the label x2 half header port map this s1 whatever the signal here assigned it is connected to the internal signal automatically to the a so this s1 is directly connect to the another half header component so repeatedly we are using it it is going to the internal of the half header input a then c in going to the input b then this sum this s is connected to the output sum and this c2 c is connected to the this c and this connected to the c out okay 
so this is called the positional association now in positional association we have to keep the signals signal sequence should be same so input let us say the uh, hop header input sequence is a b are the input sum and carry are output we cannot change that position otherwise it will give an wrong result now come to the named association what happens in nom named association exactly other syntax are label is same the component name is same port mapping now the internal signal of a that is hop header signal is connected to a1 so here internal signal a so internal signal a this a signal is connected to the a1 then internal signal b so here the first signal in named assignment is the signal is coming from the component declaration so whatever the signal we have declared in a component that signal will come first here then it will go to the external signal wherever we want to give the signal so this b is connected to the external signal b external signal b then the sum output is connected to the s1 this internal signal s is connected to the s1 and this c is connected to the c2 okay so this is the one of the advantage of uh, naming association we can understand it now uh, in a better way there is a very very low risk of mistakes now as i said in a named association if you change the if you change the naming constraint it will also allow us okay so let us take a second label x2 with the keyword half header component name port map now here the second half header sum output directly we are connecting the external sum so how this sum this sum we are connecting to the external output sum similarly carry is connected to the internal signal s2 then internal signal a this a can be connected to the s1 okay then b is connected to the c1 c in one then internal a is connected to c1 b is c2 and c is connected to the c out okay so like this in a named association we can assign signal as per our understanding and it avoids the positional mistakes so in positional assignment we should follow the position of the component signal assignment so whatever the position declared in the component declaration let like initially inputs are declared so we have to follow the input input sequence and then output sequence as it is so these are the two types of uh, component instantiation followed in the vsd so this is all about the component instantiation i hope you have understood this uh, component instantiation and the concurrent statement so in next lecture we are going to see examples of uh, this with select and when else thank you